Just like the rest of us, our brains change with age. For some people, that can mean signs of mild cognitive impairment, or MCI. According to the Mayo Clinic, each year, around 10 to 15 percent of people with MCI will go on to develop dementia. And of the 8 million Americans who have MCI, more than 90 percent don't know it. This morning, Dr. Nidhi Kumar is on call to talk about the condition that is often underdiagnosed. Good morning to you, doctor. Good morning. What exactly is mild cognitive impairment? Well, it's characterized by difficulties with memory and thinking, uh, forgetfulness, loss of train of thought, even personality, uh, you know, changes, but it's quite subtle. And people tend to compensate for it. They make lists, they set reminders in their phones, and that's why it's so hard to diagnose and it's underdiagnosed. Now, it can be caused by a neurodegenerative disorder like Alzheimer's disease, but could also be caused by vitamin deficiencies, sleep disorders, or even a side effect of certain medications. How is a condition like this diagnosed? Well, at age 65, part of a regular wellness check with your primary care doctor should include cognitive testing. And generally, patients are offered a questionnaire about 10 minutes long, assessing for memory and concentration. But I want to emphasize that what is even more important, more significant than any questionnaire or any testing is how you feel about your cognitive abilities. Are you noticing lapses in your memory or are your family members or friends noticing changes in your memory, your cognition, your ability to concentrate? So is there a treatment for this? You know, unfortunately, according to the American Academy of Neurology, there is no treatment. Studies have not shown those drugs that we use for dementia to be effective in this disorder. So it's important to really do everything you can for your brain health, sleep, nutrition, exercise. Um, now, in terms of dementia, exciting news, because earlier this summer, a new drug, Kisinla, was FDA approved, that goes along with Lakembi. These are antibody drugs. They're IV antibodies that target the amyloid plaques that we see in Alzheimer's disease. So it was, you know, really good news for patients that a new drug for actual dementia was released earlier this summer. I mean, can co cognitive decline even be prevented? Absolutely. So good brain health starts in your 30s, your 40s, and your 50s, and then continues on. You want to avoid alcohol, avoid smoking. That's top of the list. Control those risk factors, control diabetes, hypertension, obesity, get good sleep, good nutrition, exercise, and then two important points, hearing loss. As we get older, hearing starts to decline. Hearing loss alone account, accounts for 7% of dementia worldwide. Why? Because it's important to keep your brain stimulated and you lose that when you lose your hearing and then social isolation. Stay connected. According to the CDC, 50% of dementia progresses due to social isolation. So stay connected to the people that you love, join a club, volunteer, just, you know, we need, our brains need each other to stay healthy. Thank you, Dr. Kumar, for joining us. Good to see you. And remember, you can see Dr. Kumar's reports every Monday right here on CBS News New York at 7.15 a.m.